And, you know, it takes a lot of people to make the fair take place. And there's a lot of hard work, and there's always some people that do a lot and some that don't do quite as much. But it sure takes us all. And, uh, you know, Saline County has a lot of pride. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to mention any names. I just want to say one big thank you for everyone. And I think our fair had a few little glitches, but for the most part, the weather was perfect. Uh, the participation was great. And... Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, there's always room for improvement. Right now, I wouldn't know where it would be, but. Somebody from the 4-H Council wants to make a little statement, I think, at this time. Hi, um, I want to echo what Sam said. You guys did great this week. We found out a couple weeks ago that we were losing somebody who's put a lot of effort and hard work in our fair over the last almost six years. And so at this time, I want to present Amanda with a gift of appreciation. But in regard to the sale, um, you guys did great. Um, we had an outstanding sale again this year. Um, it was another record sale. Uh, our gross sale on Friday night was $74,770. Um, $1,870 more than a year ago. And I didn't know if you guys could top that, but you did an excellent job going out, asking businesses and buyers to come and bid. We have a great community here that supports you guys. Um, I know how much hard work you guys put in your projects, and it's all well worth it um, and, and very well earned um, to reward you guys. But to give you a quick summary of how each of the items went, we sold 11 smoked hams um, for an average of $332. Um, we had 31 non-smoked hams for an average of $462. We had 23 head of cattle that averaged $1,038. Uh, seven head of goats that averaged $558, eight head of lambs at $728 average, 10 lots of rabbits at $345 average, five lots of poultry at $320 average, 25 head of swine at $654 average, and we had nine silent auction hams this year that averaged $197 a lot. So again, um, a big thank you to all of the buyers, the bidders, but especially um, to you guys for going out and inviting those people to the sale to come out and support you in your projects that you work on throughout the year. Um, Hi, this is the 19th year for the Matt Bailey Sportsmanship Award and this was made possible through Matt's 4-H leader, Jackie Jones. Many of you probably know her, but Jackie couldn't be here tonight or today. And she had to go to another sportsmanship um, tournament today. But I want to, in her behalf, grant this award this year to Taylor Gottmer? Gottmer? Taylor Gottmer? Okay, and Taylor's not here, but we'll get her to her. Thank you, Sam. Um, each year since my dad passed away in 1998, we have given the Johnny Page Memorial Beef Trophy. Uh, my dad was beef superintendent for, I don't know how many years, Sam, a bunch. And uh, was on the fair board, and we just wanted to keep his name rememberized for all that he did for the fair and everything. And uh, we try to pick out what we think is the best or top individual in the beef barns that help each other, you know, never 
when something's asked to be done, they're there, they do it, you know, never complain, stuff like that. And this year's recipient is Dave Branson. The uh, Traveling Trophy is an award that is given away every year to the uh, top overall livestock exhibitor between, you know, all, breed, all species of livestock and everything for individuals that go above and beyond and, uh, you know, same kind of award in my dad's memorial, same, you know, principles and everything. And this is an award that you can win year after year if so picked, and if you do win it three years, you get to keep the trophy. And I know it's been done a time or two anyway, but uh, this year's recipient is Taylor Loges. This year's uh, Iman Award was chosen by the Iman family as uh, Sarah Bentley was the winner. Gary, have you been here all week? No. <laughs> okay, we're going to do state fairs exhibits the same way we did last year. Um, so, if you told me earlier this week what you wanted to take to the state fair, we have pulled that off to the side over there on that far table. Um, we have removed your ribbons. They have your name written on them, and there is a table where the indoor exhibits start in the back, and that's where those ribbons are located. If you did not touch base with me or someone else in this building to tell us what you wanted to go to State Fair, we do need to know that today. Um, so what we will do is that if you have not selected your items, you're going to come over here and find a volunteer, and you're going to tell them what you want to take, and we'll get your ribbons off, and we'll get your items set over to the side. Please don't rush the state fair area. We want to make sure that everybody's items stay safe and that they get picked up. Um, can I say something? Absolutely. <laughs> um, as I was wrapping up the fair yesterday with Dieta and Dieta and Linda and I were eating pizza while we were waiting for the checks to print, and I got a little teary, and I just have to say, I know I tell you every year, please say thank you to your volunteers, your club leaders, the fair board, anybody that helps with this 4-H program. And I'm really trying hard not to cry because Saline County is exceptional. You truly are exceptional, not just your youth, your volunteers, your parents. You have made my job so enjoyable, and it is so hard to leave. I will be back. I will be in the stands. I'm going to come watch because I'm going to have the summers off now, and I don't know what that's going to be like, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but please know that you have exceptional, outstanding youth that are doing so many great things. And it has been my privilege to watch some of you that were 9, 10, grow up, Nicole Gann, Shane Bishop, Blake Summers, and some of you younger ones that I've seen come from Clover Kids. I still remember Cole Murphy at his very first Clover Kid camp with me. And now look at him growing up to be this fine young man. And... I could tell stories on so many of you, and so I'm so proud of all of you. I'm proud that I got to be a part of your life for a short period of time, and I hope that when you see me on the street, you'll still speak to me. So congratulations on another great fair, and I know that you're going to continue to do so many great things.